<sighs> okay, for the final video of 2021, we're gonna take a look at what's inside my DJ bag. So this is one of the older models of Crumpler bag. Um, I've been having it for around 5 years and everything is still like holding together. So it's pretty solid backpack for DJs or any like that want to like do travel vlogging I think this is a pretty good backpack and it has that one big compartment and like a drawstring so it's pretty much like a army issue fuel pack uh, which is bigger than it actually looks we're gonna look at the side compartments everybody gonna say that I am like a little kid you know I still have like a water bottle at the side and an umbrella but super important I think you just need to spend a few dollars more maybe like up to like $20 to get like a solid umbrella that wouldn't spoil after a few usage so this is very important umbrella and then also water bottle basically it says that it stays hot for 12 hours and it also stays pretty cold for pretty long uh, what else can I say about this bottle? can drink for me maybe you can say that store alcohol man very good at storing alcohol <laughs> <laughs> so now moving on to the top flap I have hand sanitizer tissue paper studio sponsored earpiece Pretty good. I accidentally put it in the wash for like three, four times, riding bicycle in the rain, and it still survives till this day. So I think this is a pretty good wireless earpiece for its price. And of course, my phone, iPhone X. Next, we have this Eternity for Men perfume. This is a pretty good one. Next, I have my small flat wallet from ASOS. I used to have like a much bigger wallet, but I just feel like a uh, a smaller wallet is like more practical now and it doesn't stretch out the pockets of my pants uh, so you look more flushed uh. and then I have another card wallet just to put all my membership card like my Boost membership, my Safra, my Dalcom so that it doesn't like fatten my whole entire wallet uh. often times you don't really use your membership cards uh, unless you really specifically go to that shop have a red pen, I don't know why lip balm, eye drops and that's it for the top flap so now we go for the main compartment we have MacBook Pro 2018 4 Thunderbolt port with touch bar I think this is like one of the most uh, powerful MacBook at, at its time Obviously now you have like your M1 chip MacBook which will be um, better for creators but back then if you are just a DJ right this is like super powerful already but now being a DJ you not only just need a DJ but you also need to learn how to produce music and then in order to produce your music yeah, to make it successful you need to like promote it via promoting, uh, producing content editing videos etc so like the added responsibility makes this like MacBook right um, almost hit its limit already if you know what I mean so now probably the next laptop I'm intending to get right if I manage to save enough right probably like an M1 chip computer with like 32 gig to 64 gig unified memory which is like the new um, standard of RAM up next inside I have two utility pouches okay inside this studio bag is all my camera gear I have my GoPro Hero 7 which is like my only camera for filming all this stuff so I, I think it's like the most budget option and inside the camera bag, I have portable charger. Okay, so this is the unique Fuele Mini portable charger. I think this is a very powerful uh, portable charger. You can charge your iPhone to 50% full in like 30 minutes. It is uh, both USB-C and USB-A compatible along with uh, micro USB. So you can charge it using uh, micro USB. Or you can even charge it using like USB-C. So you can use your um, MacBook Pro charger to charge this as well. So this comes in very handy because I'm able to use this to charge my GoPro so I can film outdoor, outdoors for longer as well and of course using the iPhone charger and then next we have like a bunch of cables and also the GoPro battery and a GoPro charger so you can charge your batteries Okay so I have two microphones the one that I'm using right now is the Rode Video Micro on my GoPro and then this one is the Edutage ETM001 microphone I used this before but I think it's a little bit too sensitive for my use I think this is very good for you to capture like atmospheric sounds, nature sounds if you're like on a bike trail when everything is like more quiet. Whereas for this uh, Rode Video Micro, right, it's better for capturing voice and uh, in noisy environments because it has uh, like a huge dead cat on it, so the noise suppression is pretty good for its price range. Next, we have this GoPro lighting, multiple lighting, and then we have also this attachment here, which allow you to clip on all these like lighting gels. So you can clip on this red color one on the light here. And then you can put it on and then your light will show red color so it's like for you to do various type of scenes up next we have one of the most important things in my bag the micro SD to USB-C converter this is what enables me to transfer all my footage to my computer I suppose to get a better one but as you can see all the all mine is like dismantling on its own already so time for me to get a new one on to my headphone bag first up I have this RCA to MP3 cable some people will call it like RCA to mini jack this is basically RCA 
with quarter inch attachments so you can connect to the DJ mixers master and then I also have this Rode SC4 so it allows you to connect this three pin three lines so if you can see here this only has two black lines which is the TRS and then if you can see here this one actually has three lines TRRS basically this is like a Rode SC4 is a TRS to TRRS connector or converter sorry you can basically use this to connect to your TRRS to Thunderbolt connector so using this cable and a couple of converters you are able to connect your DJ console to your phone so that's how you record TikTok videos as a DJ still at my headphone bags we obviously have my headphones my HD 25 Sennheiser headphones I got them customized uh, by my friend DJ Raw at his uh, HD 25 customization Raw Customs shop so I'll leave a link to his services so you can check him out he's one of the most trusted headphones worldwide as most of the DJs you can see on stage are using them I've used them personally for almost a decade right now and I think it's still going strong pretty solid and if any part spoil right you can just replace that single part you don't need to change the whole headphone so that's what makes this headphone so great because it's highly customizable and you can last a pretty long time and overall I'll rate these headphones around 9.10 it's the MacBook charger love the fact that they now have interchangeable cables last time the moment the cable is spoiled you need to buy the whole charger which is gonna cost you like a bomb a hundred over dollars so now all i need to do is like just replace this cable thank you so much apple another important thing to have is this usb a to usb c converter i think it's very important to have this if you are using the brand new macbook pro which doesn't feature any usb a port this is definitely better than the array type converter which is like basically one USB-C to multiple USB-A's I think that extra weight right will cause the connection to fall off and this is definitely more portable. I have four of these and it solves all my problems still inside the main compartment of my bag I have my Xiaomi portable Bluetooth speaker serve me well and the price is to performance ratio is pretty good it's around $50 only. So I bought it on a sale so I think originally it's like 80 plus but now it's like probably like $47 or something like that it's a pretty powerful speaker for its cost definitely recommended and the last thing inside my main compartment is my hair products I don't always want to wear a cap I don't really want to be known for like a particular look so sometimes I do my hair as well these are some of the products that I, that I use to do my hair so I have two shishado products one is like their sea salt spray and another one is hairspray and then this gets be wax so these are some of the stuff that I use lastly we take a look at the lowest pouch that I have here I have some earplugs here these are like non-customized earplugs like doesn't melt into like the, the shape of my ear but I think it works pretty well it just blocks out a huge chunk of the sound so to prevent yourself from going deaf if you are like at a very loud venue but in future I'm definitely gonna invest in something that's like more custom to like your ear shape and also to the frequencies of the sound you don't really want to cut out too much of the sound you know because at the end of the day you are DJing you still want to hear the music but you just want to cut out away the harmful frequencies like the extreme highs Fucking high. or mid you don't really want to like just lower all the volume what ends up happening right, is like you might totally just remove the earplugs so that you can hear better and end up still destroying your ears and then we have this power plug converters this is for me to use when I'm traveling comes in pretty handy gotta remember to get one of these if not you're not really plug into the plugs in other countries last but not least I have my hard drives they are like just like normal hard drive this is only like 5-6 GB yeah, it's a good habit for you to back up your stuff once every month so this is what's inside my DJ bag comment down below what other YouTube video ideas you want to see me do and it's also been a while since I last dropped any new music since I'm so busy with this YouTube thing currently working on a new track with my boy Jace can't wait to show you guys what we have got so time for me to tune some vocals and I'll see you guys on the next video sheesh